Black WMST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. We are into football season. We're into a baseball pennant race. we got things going on. The Maryland Crab Cake Tour is back out on the road and completed for 31 days and 31 breweries, including my trip to the Wise Dairy Factory in beautiful Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Uh, all of that is available at Baltimore Positive and on our YouTube channel as well. I will be doing daily reports to get ready for Restaurant Week, uh, brought to you by the Maryland Restaurant Association. That begins on the 16th. Hopefully the Ravens are 1-0 and by then. But the kids are back at school. I'm seeing all these great pictures out on social media of all your little ones that aren't little anymore and they're getting big and my boy's a junior and he's going off to college and all that good stuff. One one of the things that happens here, and um, we're going to talk about this. Christina Pelletier is here from Wyatt. Oh, how are you? How's the nutrition world out in Western Maryland? Everything good? It's doing great. I'm sorry I missed you when I came through. You know, I came through your town. I stopped at the Wise. You were on vacation, but here we are. This is one thing for my wife and I. We we don't have a family. It's just us and our cat, right? And the month of August, we literally, and it took me to like day 28. I'm like, I've been in a car every day. I've been in a brewery every day. I've drank beer every day. I've had a crab cake every day. I've been in a restaurant every day. Like, there's a little part of this month for me after going to Quebec, chasing Pearl Jam around. I just want to slow down, right? And eating meals at home and shopping at Wise and using the grill that I've told you so much about outside. But for families and for people with kids, people sending kids off to school, this is like the weirdest month ever because it sort of brings everybody back into the huddle, right? And family meals and dinners. And that's what we're here to talk about this week is the the importance of like getting together and making sure we have family meals planned uh, because kids are back at school. Things are normal again. The sun's going to start setting in a normal hour. Yeah, so September is Family Meals Month, and, you know, eating together as a family is so much more than just enjoying that meal. It strengthens relationships, builds communication skills, and um, positively influences eating behavior as well. So a lot of really good things come out of it, and you get to kind of talk to your family or friends and see how their day was and really, you know, connect with them even more than you maybe would have if you didn't eat that meal together. And, you know, it's just really important all around. Well, you know, you said something interesting there about like eating together and families eating together and relationship bonding, right? Yeah. My family, I grew up, my dad was a steel worker. My mom was a homemaker in the seventies when I was a kid, early eighties. And we ate dinner four o'clock every day. We ate around the table. It was bread on the table. Cause my, I told you my dad's from Pennsylvania, uh, you know, from Scranton. So there's always, there was always bread and water on the table and margarine. Among, we don't eat margarine. I'm a butter guy, but, uh, but sitting together and having a family meal, that was my experience as a child. I will say this. I had lots of friends and I would go over to their house, homework, play games, shoot hoops, do wiffle ball, whatever we're doing, play stratomatic baseball. Um, and I noticed like, they don't eat together. They, you know, dad works this shift. Mom works that shift. Mom works after school. You know, uh, latchkey kids that became all popular during my era. Look how bad we turned out. Um, but, but eating together is still something that I think as a family unit, I, we don't talk about it much, but this is a great conversation to be having about eating together and building that bond. Yeah, absolutely. And it is hard to kind of get everyone home at the same time with work or school after after school activities, sports, but maybe setting a set time to all be there together that works for everyone might be able to get everyone together and just have at least, you know, a few meals a week. And then you can slowly build up from there and um, really just see all the benefits from it. Well, I know a lot of kids like have after school games and sports and planning and stuff the good news is wise got you covered uh every time i come into the wise when i'm in the produce aisle and i'm over by the deli at my wise uh right down here at utawood uh i don't know what they what no store number it is but i call it utawood because that's what we called when we were kids uh, when i go in there i see the whole section where there's nothing but family was and they're honestly sometimes too big for me and my wife like i see a tray of lasagna and i think Hey, maybe, you know, and I'm thinking that's a lot of leftovers. So, uh, but in the case of family meals uh, as a company, Wise thinks long and hard about all this. And it's pretty obvious when you're there, this doesn't have to be hard planning family meals, right? No, there's a lot of really quick grab and go options at Wise. You just stick it in the oven or microwave and it's ready to go. So there's not much planning involved And the Wise dietitians are actually featuring um, four family friendly recipes this month. We have all right, one. Come on, four Wednesday. recipes. Let me, how many of these would I eat? How many of these are going to, I'm going to say, mm, I'm coming to Christina's house. For <laughs> yeah. So we have a whole grain penne, sun-dried tomato and ricotta bake. 
Oh, uh, oh, 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 hold on. That sounds like a veggie lasagna, right? A little bit? Yeah. So it's kind of, um, a, yeah, it's pasta with some um, tomato kind of uh, bruschetta and then ricotta on top and you just bake it in the oven. So if it's got ricotta, it tastes like lasagna. It just does, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, so, so what else do we have? What else are you cooking for me? So we have stovetop chicken pot pies. That's my wife's favorite, man. You got to make a little crust on there. Get that going. Corn. Well, let's see. Maybe green beans. Maybe some peas in there. Some gravy. I like that. That's tasty. Yeah. So I think these are actually made with biscuits that you just kind of put on top. So that's kind of replacing the crust, which is a little. That's um, easier. I can yeah. do that. I mean, there's no <laughs> exactly. skill involved in that. Exactly. Perfect for me. <laughs> what else you making me? We have a pan seared steak with herb butter. Yep, Can I put that on the grill? Um, if you want, I haven't used my grill enough this summer. We've talked about this, right? I had my grill the whole month of August. You don't put crab cakes on grills. That's one thing I have not had. <laughs> I can say that funny. I've had broiled crab cakes, fried crab cakes, pan fried crab. I have never had a grilled crab cake. <laughs> we don't. Um, we do a lot of crazy things down here, but we do not put crab cakes <laughs> in, in, into the Coleman. We don't do that, you know. <laughs> yeah i don't know how that would taste and you got fish on your menu too which is uh something i didn't eat enough of last month i had too much crab not enough fish <laughs> yeah we also have a herb crusted tilapia with green beans and that one's really great because you can use frozen fish and um that frozen veggie as well so even quicker just to kind of take everything out and um, put them in the oven or on the stove I'm coming to Christina Pelletier's house. She is the dietitian at Wise Markets, working out of uh, Brunswick, correct? Am I saying that right? I am, yes. Absolutely. I, I know my way. I know Brunswick from Hagerstown, from Frederick, from Boonesboro. I know all the different towns out there because I've been out there. Uh, you can find Christina and all the work they do out of wisemarkets.com. Family meals, dinner classes, and online recipes as well as really how to do this, right? Like Wise Markets, so you go to the website, there's a whole lot more going on there than just how much a bag of peas costs this much. Yeah, so you can find all of these recipes and more in our Healthy Bites magazine, and you can pick that up in stores or online at wisemarkets.com slash healthy bites. Um, and you can also go to wisemarkets.com slash nutrition and find all of our other cook along classes. And we have really great ones for kids just to get them in the kitchen and involved. And you can even do them along with your kids. So that really kind of strengthens those relationships even more in that connection with food. And that's really, we have a fun time with it. Listen, I know you are a valued Wise Market uh, employee and they love all their employees, but I wonder what percentage of Wise Market's employees have actually been to Sunbury, actually done the tour, actually seen the milk coming in the back door and being processed. And they, they actually make their own cartons at Wise. Like they, the, the, the plastic comes in little dots and they, they turn. It's unbelievable. Then you go into the ice cream and you eat that delicious malt and salt of the earth when it's nice and creamy, just right off the line. I had a great, great time up at Sunbury. Uh, I know you haven't done it, right? You haven't been to the ice cream factory? No, but it is on the bucket list. I if would they like ask you, you should do it. It was so much fun. It was great. Beautiful little town. You live in a beautiful little town, you know, at the edge of the universe. We live in the city here. So when I see these beautiful lakes and covered bridges and farms and stuff, that's a little different for a city guy like me. So uh, Wise Markets was great to me last month and bringing me up. If you haven't seen any of the videos of me and Jamie and uh, Julianne and Hannah all sitting around eating ice cream in the factory, wearing little funny hair nets. I look like Laverne and Shirley. Early, uh, in the Shots Brewery. They, they fixed my hair all up out of hair and that. So uh, uh, we did have a good time. Big appreciation to our friends and wives. Big appreciation to Christina, who is uh, one of the awesome dietitians. It says dye in it, so I'm always worried about diets, but uh, you don't go that direction, right, Christina? Tell me what you do on a daily basis out um, at your store. And I know a lot of wise stores have dietitians as well. Yeah, so it changes day to day. You never really know what the day is going to look like, but we do one on one consults so we can meet in person or um, over Zoom. And um, we can talk about, you know, what your goals are and how to get there. Um, but I never, you know, recommend a specific diet. You know, I can't, I don't really say you can't have this food because I think all foods do fit. We just have to figure out how they fit in there. Um, and You're saying I can have ice cream, just one scoop. Yeah, we just have to have moderation, balance. Like the rest of life. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> Christina, have a great week. Thanks for coming on. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, check it. This whole grain penne, sun-dried tomato and ricotta bake. My wife's going to get forward to that recipe uh, before it's all over with. The pan-seared steak and herb butter. I'm not going to pan-sear. I am grill-seared at this point. So I'm going to alter some of these recipes you give us. You can find all these out at Wise Markets under Healthy Bites. You can also find it right in the front of Wise Markets when you're checking out. You're rounding up this month to fight hunger, and uh, you're, you're walking out. Uh, you grab the magazine, the Healthy Bites, and the Wise, Mag Wise Markets magazine. All these recipes are there. And every month they have cool recipes as well. Christine, I always appreciate you coming on. Thanks for coming on and uh, being a part of this. And I'm sorry I left you behind at the ice cream factory. I, you, I, I, know. <laughs> I, you work there. They're going to give you a tour at some point, but make sure you take advantage of it. It's a lot of fun. Yes, I absolutely will. I felt like Willy Wonka. I felt a little more like Mike <laughs> TV or Augustus Glue, but I felt like I was with Willy Wonka. Wise Markets doing great things here, having our wise chats and wise conversations as we get ready for football season. It's Ravens and Jets this week. Obviously, the Orioles in a pennant race, scuffling right now to uh, take down the Toronto Blue Jays and remain in this race all month long. Conversations with our next governor, Wes Moore, including Baltimore Banner reporter Pam Wood and my dear friend Mickey Coachella, celebrating 31 years of radio, celebrating the start of the NFL season. Luke's and Owings Mills as well. We are WNST AM 1570 Towson, Baltimore. We never stop talking those wise conversations at BaltimorePositive.com.